we're back now. So miss the first play from scrimmage. Again, we've got the Green Giants and the Metro Stars. Green Giants out of the southeast region, the Chattanooga area. And the Stars out of the Nashville area. So the Stars will have the ball first. About a loss of a yard on the first play. And there's a the snap. Quarterback rolls right. Blitz coming. Quarterback rolling, rolling. Pass is incomplete. It's Sam Atkins. And a little bit of good natured ribbing from his teammates there. The pass broken up, but not intercepted. And the Green Giants wanted an interception there. So it's third down for the Stars. Atkins back to pass again. Monica Dean in pursuit. Atkins, oh, pass falls just incomplete. Intended for Carter Cottrell for the Stars, and it's going to be fourth down. Back to pass again. Rolling left, rolling right. Pass falls incomplete for the Stars. And it will be a turnover on downs. We should mention game one was a, what we call a traditional match. Game two is a unified match. So we have our unified partners paired with our athletes. And a little bit of a slow start there for the Stars. They'll take over on defense. The Stars running a five-man team today. So everybody playing both ways all the way through. The Green Giants with a deep bench. And they will take over. Handoff and a rush on first down. And as I was grabbing numbers, it looks like I may have missed one on my sheet. We'll try to get that in just a minute. The, the Green Giants have their names on the backs. So we'll get that confirmed in just a minute. Back to pass, gets behind the defense. That's Patrick Daub on the reception. And that's a touchdown for the Green Giants. Previous play was Austin Clark on the carry. I was misreading the jersey. I thought it was 25, it was actually 26. So Clark on the carry, and then the pass complete to Daub for a touchdown. And quickly the Green Giants jump out to a six nothing lead. Green Giants will go for one. They get their play call in. Getting everybody lined up here. Green Giants will have one receiver to each side. Running back to the right side. Drops back to pass. And the conversion is good. Hayden Clark on the pass. Phillip Harris on the reception. And the Green Giants take a 7-0 lead early in the first half.
So a good strong drive from the from the Green Giants there. And the Metro Stars will take over on downs. Let's see if they can put something together on a drive. They had some plays that were queued up and looked pretty good. They just couldn't quite connect on the passes. So we'll see what they can come up with here. Stars will get set up, one wide to the right, one receiver. Now they'll bring both receivers in a little bit tighter. It's going to be a handoff. And that's number 14. Connor Dolan on the carry. I believe the stop was Brody Miller, number five for the Green Giants. Good gain on the play out to the 13-yard line. Having to count backwards, do a little bit of math going this direction, and that's not always my strong suit. So, National Stars will set up again. Short pass. Ball's just incomplete. They had it set up, and it would have been a short gain but they just can't make the connection. And again, that rain has started to fall again. You got to think it's making those balls just a little bit slick. Everybody doing a really good job of keeping their footing well on this turf. Sometimes that gets a little slick when the rain comes through, but they've done a good job so far. Everybody keeping their footing pretty well. And there's not a wood table for me to knock on after I said that. We got a receiver to each side, hand off left side. And that's Connor Dolan again on the carry. He gets all the way out to the 21 yard line. Looks like they give him the 22. So it's going to be fourth down. The Stars need two yards for a fresh set of downs. And we'll see what they draw up here. Stars get back set, one wide right. A wing back and a running back flowing out of the backfield. He was open for a minute and just can't quite connect on the pass. Again, that rain has started to fall, and you can tell that those footballs are every bit of slick right there. That's, that's a difficult one to make. So it will be a turnover on downs, and the Green Giants will take back over. Again, game two action, unified flag football here at FRA. And the rain just looks like it's going to be all around us all day. So, little here, little there. One thing we can't complain about is the heat today. <laughs> it is definitely cool. And the Green Giants will get set up. And off first play. That's Clark again on the carry. Gets across the 10 yard line. A good little gain, about a gain of seven. See where they mark it officially. Say so a mark it back about a gain of six. So it'll be second down, but a good pickup there for the Green Giants, and they're right back up to the line. A little bit of help there, everybody getting their flags situated. And we're off again, and this time they'll drop back to pass. Pass is intended for Clark. Again, we see that ball just slipping all over the place on everybody. This one may come down to who has the best running game. Green Giants will shift personnel just a bit. Now they'll drop out wide. Receiver wide to the left, one wide to the right. Running back coming out of the backfield. Oh. 
And again, just can't quite can't quite link up there. And it'll be fourth down now for the Green Giants. So the Green Giants went right down on the field their first drive. This drive, this rain has started, and it has caused quite the stalemate between these two teams. And Green Giants lead 7 0. First half action. That snap. Quarterback drops. Now we've got a delayed blitz. Quarterback. He had a man. And they just couldn't, couldn't connect on it. So a deep pass. A little post pattern there coming across the field and just couldn't quite connect on it. Will be a turnover on downs. It'll be first down for the Stars. And we got a timeout on the field. And we'll see what they say here. Again, all the volunteers out here today keeping score, keeping rosters, keeping stats. Director Justin over here beside me doing a great job on the camera, the umbrella, directing the show. He is a man of many talents and also a heck of a PA announcer. So you be firing that up soon, I guess, next week, tonight, tonight at Cumberland University. We've got several I'm from Greenbrier. We've got several guys on the team from Greenbrier. We've got uh, several that came on couple of years ago, and then this year, Derek Taylor from Greenbrier transferred in from Tennessee. And so we've, we've been blessed to have a good relationship with Cumberland and Greenbrier. So back to action here for the Stars. Quarterback rushing around. They come close. They can't quite make it happen. Yeah, Cumberland will get kicked off tonight. I'm going to try to make the Cumberland Lindsey Wilson game because we've got kids on both teams. <laughs> so it should be fun. We we had a a little bit of a pipeline there between football and Coach Scott Hunt, who coached our baseball team last year, is son of legendary coach and Hall of Famer Woody Hunt. So that was a fun little connection to have last year. Metro Stars back on action there, and they run around right side. That's Connor Dolan on the carry. A good little pickup there. It's all the way out across the 10 to the 12. So a pickup of seven on second down. And now it's third down, and the Metro Stars will need eight in two plays. Snaps a little bit short, but the receivers get out. Quarterback running around trying to find an open receiver. And they have come close to hitting that route a couple of times. And when they get it, he's going to be off to the races. So they're, they're coming back to it because they know it's going to work. But it does bring up fourth down. And the Stars need eight. Still in the first half here, another tight game. This one started off a little bit different, but... Again, 7 0 the Green Giants lead. Stars back to pass. Uh, receiver deep. And the Stars playing all their players both ways. And Sam Atkins ran about 55 yards. Somebody get that man a Gatorade. He's going to need it there. So the Stars, you can see it there. They've got the plays. If they can start connecting on some of these throws, they're going to put some points on the board pretty quickly. So we'll get swapped over here. 
Green Giants will take back over on offense. Still in the first half, Green Giants trying to get that ball dry as you can. It gets wet in a hurry, and it gets slick in a hurry. And the Green Giants will go with a run game here. Good run on first play. That was number 16, Matthew Mays. Picks up about five yards out to the 10-yard line. Green Giants will get set up again. Running back to the quarterback's to the left. Two receivers left side. They'll get set up. Fake the handoff. He's got a man. And that one. Stokes was streaking down middle of the field. Now, I'm going to chalk that one up one more time to the rain because it's – I saw all of these teams out here warming up when it was dry. and You can see them now trying to desperately dry that football off. So it's third down for the Green Giants. They're at the 10-yard line. They're on 10-yard line. They need 10 yards for a first down in two downs. Two receivers left side, running back right. Quarterback back to pass. Hauls it in with the one-handed catch. Patrick Dobb. And Patrick with a great catch there. And the Green Giants will set up again. Great movement by the Green Giants. Pass complete to Skylar Stokes that time, and we saw they got the ball drawn off right before the snap, and he was not going to let that one go. So the Green Giants into the end zone again and take a 13-0 lead, and it looks like they will go for one, which will be a play from the six-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Can't quite connect there. Boy, it's 13-0 Green Giants. And the Stars will take over on downs. Getting late into the first half. Stars quickly back on the field. And number 14, Connor Dolan. Picks up three. Fumble on the play. So the play will be dead where the ball fell down. So it will be a loss back to the four-yard line. Giving forward progress to the five. It will be third down for the Stars. Stars going rush. Short gain on the play. It'll be fourth down. The 
the Stars line up for their fourth down play. They need 15 yards. The Green Giants come on a mad blitz. Oh, pass falls just through the fingertips. Mello was deep, and he would have had a first down. But they can't quite connect, and we'll have another turnover on downs. The Green Giants will take back over, leading 13-0 in the first half. Referee sets the ball for play. And the Green Giants come out. One receiver each side. A running back coming out of the backfield. And they're going to throw it deep. Heave ho there. And the quarterback just overshoots his man. They'll regroup second down. I believe that will be the final play of the half. So your halftime score, Green Giants 13. Stars haven't gotten on the board just yet. And we'll take just a moment of break.
And we are back. The Green Giants will have the ball first to start the second half. And we'll see what they can draw up here. Rain has stopped for now. I didn't say stop for good. Pass complete there. Scholar Stokes jukes and jives his way into the end zone. To put six more on the board for the Green Giants. And they now have 19. So they will line up for a one-point conversion here. Well, we've got actions on all the fields, so it, we're going to confine down in our little area. We've got two more or one more game. I think another one has just ended. The Green Giants on their point after attempt, and it is successful. That pass complete was complete to Brody Miller. And the Green Giants now have 20 on the board early in the second half. So the stars get set up. Running back to the left of the quarterback. Two receivers in tight. There's the snap. Handoff. And the Green Giants coming on a blitz. Connor Dolan on the carry. Looks like they're giving progress right back to the five-yard line. So no loss, no gain on the play. And it will be second down for the Stars. The Stars will get set up here. Three receiver set. And the Green Giants come on a blitz again, able to get the quarterback sack. Walls back to the three-yard line. It's third down. Stars do need to get to the 20-yard line for a new set of downs. Let's see what they can draw up here. Third and long. They've had a couple of times where they've gotten in behind the secondary. And just haven't always been able to connect on those passes. Let's see what they can do here. Stars getting set up. One receiver left tight, one receiver right wide. Handoff up the middle. Short gain on the play. Pick up about two or three there. Connor Dolan on the carry. And it will be fourth down for the Stars. Stars with two receivers tight, one out wide to the right. Quarterback drops back, feeling a little pressure, running around, trying to make something happen there. Receivers on the scramble drill. And they just can't quite connect on that one. And it will be a turnover on downs. And the Green Giants will take over first down. Green Johns will come out with two receivers split out wide. 
running back moves to the right side. And before we can get the snap off, had a little bit of a equipment malfunction with our flags. That is easy to happen. They're made to break away pretty easy, and we got a handoff. That's Austin Clark on the carry. Picks up about four yards. Everybody's flag set back up. And the stars will go too wide. Fake the handoff. Little slant route. Nice pitch and catch there. Skylar Stokes on the reception. Gets down to the 10 yard line. And the Green Giants will set up with a fresh set of downs. First and goal from the 10. Two receivers, one each side. Arkham running back sets up to the right of the quarterback. Snaps a little bit short. And with the fumble, play will be blown dead where the ball landed. And they lost back to about the 15-yard line, maybe the 14. Looks like they'll say the 15. Green Giants sign again, trying to get the ball dried off there. They get lined up, same set. Second down. Snap. And toss the end zone. Skylar Stokes on the reception. And will be a touchdown. The Green Giants will set up for their extra point attempt. From the six yard line. Green Giants will go empty set here for the extra point conversion. We'll move Clark out to the right side as a slot receiver. So empty for the Green Giants there. We're back, back to pass. Stars running coverage. Pass is complete. And Austin Clark. With the catch, the conversion, and the celebration to end it. <laughs> the only thing that rivals his football skills are his dance moves. Impressive job there. And the Stars will come back out. Looking to get something going here. So the Metro Stars get set up, running a little smokestack look there. And off right side, out of bounds, and not before a pickup. They gave him four. I thought he had seven. But maybe my angle was bad. 
won't be too hard on the strides today. Again, with that smokestack, almost an, a power eye looking formation there. And the Stars will run it again. And that's Connor Dolan again on the carry. And he picks up another couple of yards. Out to the 12. So the Stars moving the ball a little bit here. It's third down. They need eight. Pick up a first down. Hand off left side this time. Dolan threads the needle on the sidelines. Touchdown, Stars. <laughs> and that was just a great job of spatial awareness there. Gets down, tiptoes down the sideline. I would have fallen over, Justin. I don't think I can tiptoe through anything, but not that far for sure. Great job right there. And so the Stars get on the board. And let's see what they draw it for their conversion. Cars get set up. There's a snap. Delayed blitz. Quarterback trying to find. Pass just broken up. Uh, unable to convert on the attempt. And now second half action, 27 to six. Green Giants lead. But the Stars get on the board and had a little spark there. We got a timeout for the Green Giants. I think they may have wanted to go with a little bit different personnel there on offense. Get everybody set. Everybody take a, take a breath, take a breather. Again, a shout out to this Stars team that is playing all five players both ways. That is difficult to do. And they have done so well today. And the Green Giants back on offense. Rush left side, that's Monica Dean on the carry. Try to cut it back to the right side. Stars able to make the stop. They'll say for no gain. And the Stars will come back out. One receiver each side. Running back to the right. It's a snap, handoff. Oh, it's a fake. Got receivers. Ed Clark just wasn't able to quite haul it in there. It's number 15, Hayden Clark at the quarterback position, commanding his troops. And now they'll go empty set again. Two receivers right side, one to the left. Reading the defense. There's a snap. Pass is complete to Monica Dean for a nice little gain there. She gets out to the 13 yard line. Stop made by number 13, Bo Adkins, for the Stars. And it brings up fourth down. So the Stars go down, they get a touchdown. They've gotten them in a fourth down situation here. 
Stars get their coverage set. Again, an empty set. Green Giants. Back to pass. There's the toss. Can't quite connect. And they're turnover on downs, and we may see these stars come roaring back. Good game here. I think I just saw the officials say we were down to the two-minute warning. I think. <laughs> Which, as we all know, in football time is somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes. <laughs> All right, the Stars getting set back up here on offense. Green Giant defense, and they're coming right after them. They fake the handoff. Oh. Stars had a man for a moment. Coverage catches back up to it. Pass falls incomplete. And it'll be second down for the Stars. The Stars set up again. One receiver each side. You got a running back. Hand it off. I thought for a second that we're going to try to go with a halfback pass. The Green Giants do make the stop. Stars are able to get out of the end zone. It will be third down from the one. And I think when I said two minutes a minute ago, that may have been two seconds. So that will be your final. The Green Giants will take the 27 to six win in this one. Again, another good game. We've got good games going on all over the field. We've been kind of trying to keep an eye on these other fields as we're we're going through the the skills presentations going on in the corners. We've got games going on on three fields right now, I think. And we've heard the crowd erupt a few times. So FRA, all the bleachers on one side of the field. So everybody kind of gets to sit together there. And they get a little rowdy before the day's over. You never know. But a good game there. And the Green Giants will take the win. And we appreciate you joining us here today. We we're able to glad we were able to jump this one up. Got the email from Justin Thursday and was happy to jump in on this. This is this has been a lot of fun. I think the next game coming up, and we're gonna have to take a break to recharge our batteries, literally. Uh, next game coming up will be the Titans that just played the overtime a moment ago, and I think Green Giants too. Maybe the other team looked like it was warming up down in the end zone. So that should be a really good game if Green Giants 2 puts on a show like Green Giants did in this game. This will be a heck of a ball game. That's going to do it for us today.